Hey guys, um, so I'm gonna do this tutorial to show um, it's about processing but not too much about processing but it's mainly about how to build an animation and how to compress um, videos for presentations so I hope it's useful um, so when I'm gonna start by just uh, going into one of the examples right and I have selected here from topics the Conaway example right and you see that we can just close these other windows and have uh, the game of life script running, right? So that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to change the size to something larger. And you can see here. Um, I like this format um, that is 1280 by um, by 720 because this is HD format. I mean, it's not a Blu-ray Blu quality HD, a full 1020, um, uh, 1080, but it's it's a really good format, uh, and this is a format in which I kind of do all the videos online as well. So all the video tutorials in Vimeo get in get really good resolution, and you are able to read the text because I'm working in this resolution, right? So I'm going to show you how to do save an image or in a video from this right so I, I'm not going to explain the script you can just be free to go through it or go through the tutorial that I did on Game of Life but what is important is that the draw that starts here right and ends here right this is the last uh, parenthesis that where the draw ends so here after that we want to just put a comment that we want to save the frame for animation, right? So we need one line of code that will save the frame, every frame, as we move on, right? So I'm just going to go into the processing website, and you'll see that I can go into reference, a set, library. So if I look here for save frame this is the command that we're looking for and this command basically allows us to save an image right but in this case there's an example already of how to save an image that will have a different name every frame that we save it right so you can see we're going to copy that line and just bring it into our script so we're going to put it here at the end of the draw that's kind of important because you're basically drawing all the screen and when you have finish that you save it right so save frame will say I don't want to use TIFF because TIFF would be too heavy I'm going to use PNG and I'm going to say animation animation is kind of the uh, prefix of the name of the file that we will create and this will represent the number of the frame right we could also say put it in a folder called animation or one, right? So automatically we'll create this animation for let's save this file somewhere in the desktop so we can actually see uh, I'm gonna call Conway 2. So I have the folder here, right? If we open that we see that we only have the file inside. Once we run this there would be a folder called animation created inside this folder and inside that folder we will have a sequence of PNGs right so the other thing that is useful here is to print line um, frame count right because we want to see in which frame uh, how many frames we have printed already right so if you're looking for an animation of a thousand frames, you might be waiting, have to wait to just see when you arrive to just like frame a thousand, right? So let's do that. Let's run it. Uh, it's in a full, it's in an HD quality because of the size of the screen. Uh, let's try that again. Oh, it was just taking a little bit of time to start. There we go. Uh, 
So it's running really slow here. So maybe we could have picked an algorithm that wasn't so labor intensive when we increase the resolution at such high rate, right? Because in this case, you're basically working with a massive grid. Depending on the size of the screen, the, the grid will change and you will have more calculations depending on the size of the um, of the grid, right? But we can actually wait a little bit here. I'm going to pause the video and then just calculate maybe 100 frames or so. And we'll see how to compile that. So you see that we have already like 120 frames. So I'm going to stop this now. So if we go into the folder now, we can see that we have created an animation folder, as I mentioned. And inside that animation folder, we have created a series of frames, PNG frames. And maybe the last one, I'm going to delete it in case you didn't save it properly, in order not to have any errors. Um, <clears throat> but we have 120 frames, everyone named in the right way, right? So that's really good. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just open After Effects. Uh, you can do this in Premiere as well. Um, and I'm going to just import, like, this is the very basics of After Effects, just uh, we're not going to be seeing any kind of details in After Effects, only how to just bring that file. And I'm going to say bring the file, one file, right? So I just to explain something here, I'm importing one file, not multiple files, right? It might seem that confusing this, but I'll explain how this works. So if we go into Conaway folder and into animation, and if we click on the in the first frame, you'll see that automatically out After Effects will just recognize that this is a PNG sequence, right? So that's that's good. This will understand that this whole sequence is one animation. So when we bring it in, you'll see that it's saying frames from 1 till 120, and they are a sequence. So I'm going to just drag this into the timeline. This is important. The good thing about After Effects is that you don't have to do any presets on, um, on the canvas that you'll be working with. So if your images come in any size, the first time you drag them into the timeline, After Effects is going to just um, create the canvas, I mean the composition for you. This is the composition, right? And it will just make the, the size of the composition depending on how many frames you have, right? So you see that we have the whole animation here produced uh, in After Effects. So what I'm going to do now is just save the file into my desktop again. And I'm going to say uh, video test, right? And that's it. I could just close After Effects. I mean, you could do lots of effects here and just like um, try to be build some glow or some color correction or whatever you want, right? But I'm not interested in showing After Effects. I'm just interested in showing how to. I don't want you to like render the stuff here directly in After Effects because that might be. Um, it's possible, but I mean, it, it, I think it's nicer to just use other software to do that. Uh, so I'm going to close After Effects, right? And what I'm going to bring in is just also with the Adobe Suite, suite uh, is the Adobe Media Encoder. Right, I'm using version five um, CS5, but uh, version CS5.5, I believe, changed the interface. But it's very similar in a way. It does exactly the same thing. And what this does is that you can start bringing files in. Let's say we have our video test file that is here, right? Um, and the only thing that you need to do, basically, is just drag it in here. This file. And because it's Adobe, we will understand that this is a file from After Effects. It will ask you which is the composition that you want to use. Use, And I'm going to show you which are the presets to actually get really good quality video and a small um, size, right? The way in which I do the tutorial. So that's what I'm going to show. Um, so I'm going to say, OK, that's the composition. Oh, it's in. There we go. It's loading the composition in.
there we go. So, yeah, I mean, and all computers. <laughs> It's taking a bit of time. So we can see that there's a few things here. It, it's not rendering yet. We could actually change the settings. So we can, let's go to settings. And you'll probably have to remember these settings or just write them down. Uh, or basically, we're going to build a preset, right? So the format I want to export is H264. This will produce an MP4, uh, an, yeah, an MP4 file. Um, and there's several presets here that are ready to go, right? So the one I like using for Vimeo, it's really good quality here. So Vimeo HD quality, and it's already, you can see here, uh, um, 1280 by 720. And because of the use, it's going to be just in computers. It doesn't matter if you're working in PAL or NTSC. Um, so you can leave all that stuff. You can change it if you want, but the only thing I want to change is just quite a bit of um, bitrate because this will allow us to just like get a really good quality video especially if you want to see all the detail and in processing you're producing so precise graphics that you want to just capture all that detail so allow for quite a bit of bitrate and you can see that the file size is not incredibly high at this point right so this is a really good format to work with um, Right, so that seems fine. If we want, we can save this preset as HD custom one or HD custom Vimeo. Right, so in this way, we're just preparing a, a file that you could just put in Keynote, for instance, or something like that for your presentations, and and it's a really good format to to just share your content. So let's go ahead and say OK. So now the next time you load a file, you will have this custom preset here. You see that I have a few uh, HD custom Vimeo. And you can just literally not go into settings, but go here. And it will be created in the desktop. All right, so let's say start. And you see that it's starting to code. You can load many files here, and they would be in queue, right? So you don't need to just wait for a file to render and then do another one. You would just like do all these After Effect files really quickly, one at a time, and then basically just put them here and let, if they're really long, you can leave them overnight, and then we'll go from one to the other one and the next one to just do all your files, and at the end, in the morning, you will have your video here. It's an MP4 video. Let's run it. Not that it's done. And you can see the video that we produced. So okay, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon.